All right. Let's get started with the show. All right. The first person we got today, man, is none other than Pat Hoops. This dude right here, man, he been around for a while, man. Chill dude. He always be, he, he be into the 2K ratings and stuff like that, you know. He be um giving you news on new updates within the game, but he also be having some of that, some of that park news, my career news and shit like that. And he be finding little leaks in the game just like everybody else. So Pack Hoot, man, one of the chill guys in the community. You don't really see him in no drama, you know, and this is what I mean. Like, you know, these are guys right here that I love to say that they can, they'll get representation and where you can be in the community. You don't have to be in no drama. You know, Anonymous been in drama, you know, um, but you don't have to be in drama in 2K, man. You know, that's a lot of people out here that have been living in this 2K community for years and they had not one motherfucking incident with nobody else. They don't get into no mess. They stay out of the way. They just do their motherfucking shit. And it's a lot of people in the 2K community like that, man. But it's, a, it's some of us, you know, we had to have our motherfucking scuffle. You know, I'd have been in a couple scuffles, my nigga. You know, okay, listen, I'd have been in the trenches with these niggas, man. Cause niggas ain't finna talk about anonymous and just things that got gone gone. Yeah, man, you know what that man, fuck you. You know, so anonymous gonna talk that shit back. Then I might be pulling up. Nigga, let's get some let's get some runs in on 2K D, bitch ass nigga. Pull up on the dots. You know, so yeah, man. But shout out to these guys and girls that are able to survive in the 2K community and not be in no motherfucking drama, man. Salute to y'all. All right, but y'all know. Hit the like button on his video. Cause guess what? He took time out of his day to bring this motherfucking amazing video to us. We're gonna see what he got. Hopefully he got some motherfucking fire. The name of the video say 40 new things in NBA 2K. Leak first look. So we're finna see what the fuck he see. You know, maybe he see something that we did see. Let's check it out, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Drop. In fact, it's like an insane amount, a bunch of, bunch of different topics. So this is what I'm gonna do. I got you the 30 most important pieces of information that many people either are not talking about or things that are just too important to not talk about Let's see. into one video. Okay? Let's see what you Even got. 2K gives us information slowly throughout the time. They decided to dump everything or almost everything at the exact same time. So I'm gonna organize this at the top 30 most important pieces of information for NBA 2K24. It is very exciting. A bunch of stuff that I never believed 2K would ever do. I'm going to break it down in this video. If you like that kind of content when it comes to NBA 2K24, news, updates, and even gameplay, this channel is going to be doing it all year. So please join the pack and subscribe. And let's get in, man. First up, it is the Kobe Bryant cover. He is the only cover athlete for NBA 2K24. So usually they would have a Legend Edition and a regular edition cover athlete. No, Kobe is going to be... That is interesting. That, that that is interesting. Um, I did see that, but I didn't pay it no mind. Any of y'all think why would that be the case? Normally, two K uses their manipulation tactics by having multiple covers to appease different audience. But this year, they have every cover dedicated to Kobe, you know, um, except the female ver version of 2K. So that is interesting. That is interesting. Both. So that is officially confirmed for two different covers with Kobe. The next piece of information is they're also going to have a 75th anniversary cover. So basically like Madden 25 used to have like their special thing. 2K is not going to have their own 25th with a 2K ring, which is actually, it's actually kind of a dope cover. I'm not saying I would get it over the Kobe cover, but I actually do think it's a nice looking cover. There are three different price points and rewards for NBA 2K24. The first one's going to be 6 Hey, so y'all know I did see the cover where they copy and paste. I did see where 2K copy and paste over the original Kobe cover because you see the hands coming outside of the head. Um, to that, I want to say
What is it, 2K? Is it a private club or something y'all have? You got all these amazing artists out here that be creating 2K covers. You won't go get them a couple of dollars for it or get them a 2K logo for it or ask them nicely for it. You just choose to go copy and paste over in the old cover. All these kids out here willing to create a cover art for y'all for free. Just give them a shout out. Y'all won't do. Is it a private club y'all have or something? Is it some? What do y'all have that y'all won't tap in with others? What is it? What, what is it about the fact that y'all can't go ask one of them kids? One of them grown men, so them grown women, so them little kids that sit there coming up with this amazing cover art. And y'all just copying. What the fuck? Y'all can't. What, the, what, what is that? that? It's not a big deal to me for as y'all using a copy and paste cover, but I'm just looking at it like, look at all these people that have created these amazing cover art. You can't ask them nicely. Can we get you a cover art? Yeah, they might want a little something for it. Man, what is it to give them a $500 check or a $1,000 check for their work? That's probably more than they would have got anywhere else for that motherfucker. You give them a $100 for it. Niggas ain't creating. Niggas ain't spending a $500,000 on no motherfucking thumbnail. But I'm saying, though, from y'all, the big billion dollar, billion dollar company, man, y'all could have given somebody a $1,000 for one of their motherfucking cover art, man. Like, come on, dog. What y'all doing, bruh? Y'all gonna just copy and paste the cover, bro. It's not no big deal, but it's just disrespectful to the people that go out there and really try to look out for y'all. They be like, man, I'm gonna make this, man, and hopefully 2K notice it. Y'all be like, nigga, fuck your shit, nigga. We just gonna copy and paste this shit. Come on, 2K. That's funny, dog. $60, it is a regular physical edition copy. That My nigga said he want a shout out. He don't even want y'all money. He would have made y'all a motherfucking cover art. Hey, come on, dog. And you're going to have the $100 version, which is the Black Mamba edition, and then you have the 25th anniversary edition, which is $150. All come with individual awards. I could go through. And we already done explain. Nobody should be pre-ordering the $150 version of 2K. 2K, don't get mad at me for saying this. Y'all know nobody should be buying that bullshit. Come on, 2K. $150 and he get the same motherfucking items other than a motherfucking lead pass and some other bullshit. He can wipe lead pass on fucking on the internet. He can find a motherfucking free basketball game on the internet. Shit, he can call me. I can goddamn it let him know about a motherfucking free website to watch a basketball game. So you two 2K. Don't be mad at me. You know that motherfucking $150 version is some bullshit. Nigga getting a 100K for $150, and then if he buy the $100 version, he still get a 100K? You, who you think you playing with? Who you think you playing with? You know that ain't right. Y'all know that ain't right. The fuck y'all trying to do, man? You think all of us are slow or something? What you trying to do, bro? A $150 version, and then you only get a 100K VC, and then the hundred dollar version, give me a hundred. And you know that ain't right. You know that ain't right, dog. You know that ain't fucking right, man. All of them one by one, but here's a photo of all the rewards for all the different covers. Do I think it's worth? Niggas spending seventy dollars getting five KVC. What what they gonna do with five KVC? Let's be for real, man. I understand y'all are business. I understand how business work. Got to be cutthroat to be a business person. See, anybody here that is a successful business person, really, really cutthroat. They really cutthroat. Because you can't be a real business and you in nice. So I understand y'all have to be cutthroat, but that right there, that's cold, man. Niggas spending $100 for 100K VC, then niggas spend 150 for another, for the same 100K. And then if a nigga spend 70 or 80, he only get 5K. 5K VC, what a nigga gonna do? Man, you know 2K. What a nigga gonna do with 5K VC? 
2K. Somebody answer that for me that work at 2K. What a motherfucker gonna do with 5K VC, bro? Come on, dog. You playing, man. You gonna do to people like that, man? Y'all that y'all that selfish, bro. Man, y'all can't be that selfish, bro. Do you know how that make y'all look as a company? That y'all are willing to give the people 5K VC. Man, you know how fucked up that is, dog. 5K. Man, I can't. 5K VC. You know that fucked up, dog. Come on, man. Y'all can't be that dirty, dog. Y'all ain't got no hearts. Y'all ain't got no hearts. 5K VC, bro. Man, you fucking. You 5K VC, dog. Man, get the fuck on, man. That's some I'm fucked up shit, man. Another video, but $150 is pretty damn expensive for an NBA 2K game. I personally usually would get around the $100 version. The game is going to drop on September 8th. I had predicted it was going to be either August 31st or September 1st. The deal ends on August 31st. First. So it's a week later than what I thought it was going to be. It's still really close up. We're actually only two months out from a brand new 2K game, which is obviously exciting. September 8th is really close. I always kind of say this every single year, but it's only two days away from my birthday. So it's a birthday present for me. I'm excited. Number five, pretty big one. Mamba Moments Mode. So you know about the Jordan Challenge in NBA 2K23. Well, they're going to have a Mamba Moments of NBA 2K24. I talked about what I think they should be in a previous video. And here's kind of a little montage of that. The 1997 Slam Dunk Championship in the 2000 NBA Finals. Game four, no Shaq against the Pacers. Kobe wills that team to win to go up 3-1. 81 points on Jalen Rose's head. The game winner against Phoenix in game four in the first round of 2000. Six, beating Spain in 2008, the Redeem team, beating the Celtics to win his fifth NBA championship, the 60-point game, the last game of his entire career. I ain't gonna lie, the Kobe moment shit would be fire. <laughs> the Kobe, the Kobe moment shit would be fire, you know, especially because see, the only thing about MJ, uh, you know, moment thing, a lot of y'all, and, and and including myself, I watched MJ play. But I only got to see MJ in the final years of the Chicago Bulls. And then I got to see him with the Wizard. But if you understand what I'm saying, like I got to see MJ when he was, he was really like, he was down there done. You know what I'm saying? So, but I got to see Kobe though. I got to actually see Kobe, the number eight. I got to see Kobe with the Afro. I got to see, you know what I'm saying? So we grew up more, most of us, and I know it's some of my older G's in here too, but a lot of us younger people, we got to see more of Kobe shit highlights. So the fact that we actually might can go play some of them games that we've seen on TV, you know, that shit will be crazy. The Jazz, and then maybe even ending it off with him making a speech at the Oscars. There's so many things they're going to do, but as long as I get to drop 81 points on Jalen Rose's head, I'm a very happy man. There Thanks. is going to be Thanks, no Trey. early access release date. So usually 2K does a couple days before you pre-order it or get a specific edition. You can play the game. So now what the word on the streak is that they will not have a pre-order bonus. Now that's what the, that's what they saying. They saying 2K24 would not have a early bonus access. Now, yo, appreciate that love, big dog. 20 months, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Now, I don't know if that's confirmed, but I did see some clips. You feel me? I did see clips where people said there will be no early access unless you probably like a next maker. You know, of course, they're going to have it. But like for us, us being able to pre-order 2K early, I heard we that won't be a thing this year. Now, I don't know how true that is, but that's what I that's what I heard. Earlier than everybody else, they're not going to do the NBA 2K24 is going to drop on September 8th, and that is that technically September right. 7th that night. And probably so so night. Usually we get that play that motherfucker like on the 5th if they dropping it on the 8th. Time flies. That's right. Tessino's going to get it before all of us in Australia, and we're going to be very salty. But that's gonna go. I ain't gonna lie, Tassino used to receive a lot of hate for that shit too, though. Man, fuck, Tassino got the game early, bro. <laughs>
the one that everyone's been talking about, the crossplay is now here. Yes, crossplay, which means players from PlayStation and Xbox are going to be able to play against each other in NBA 2K24. Not PC players. Listen, there's a lot of reasons why, but let's just say because <laughs> PC players can hack. Hey, PC players, stop being salty, bro. We don't listen. I know I got some PC supporters. I know I got some PC hoopers in here. They be telling me, oh, nah, you know. Nah. Bro, we don't want to play against y'all in 2K, though, dog. I'm just going to keep it a buck, bro. We don't want to play against y'all, bro. Nobody wants to play y'all. In no damn near no video games, people want to play y'all. They don't want to play y'all in Call of Duty. They don't want to play y'all in Fortnite. They don't want to play y'all in goddamn uh, speed run. I'm just going to be 100, bro, PC players. Y'all are a virus to everybody else, bro. Y'all be cheating. Y'all y'all cheat. You 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 come out there with niggas who have legs that look like he in a sci-fi movie. We're not trying to play that, bro. You don't even have to jump to dunk. Why would I want to play a nigga that don't even fucking jump to dunk the ball? Nigga, I'm not playing y'all, bro. So I'm just saying, PC people. We don't want no dealings with y'all, dog. I don't mean no hard feelings. I'm just telling you, y'all have been ruined, bro. All y'all do is make these mods, bro. We don't want to deal with that shit. Go to GTA with that shit, bro. <laughs> and make mods, and, and 2K can't deal with that, so. We have to wait for it. <laughs> but the big one, the one that I, this is the one that blew my mind. It's crossplay for every single game mode i personally thought that it was only going to be like play now online and maybe like my team in my league no way did i think that they were going to pull off my career and park and city stuff but apparently they did do it now i'm sure oh. they've restructured some stuff to make it easier for them but yes we're going to be able to play in park city wherever it is yeah with other people on different consoles which is good because i have friends that have only xbox and i want to play against them and now I can. That's that's really cool. That is that fire. A lot of worries about lag and how bad delay is going to be. Wow! Finally, we are watching a video where somebody other than anonymous is asking about lag issues with crossplay. Let's hear what this brother has to say. Come on, dog. Hit me. That's that's really cool. There's a lot of worries about lag and how bad delay is going to be. Listen, we don't know anything yet, so I'm not going to assume anything yet. But that is definitely going to be a worry. <laughs> God damn, I thought he even finished speculate. Man, give me some speculation or something. Yo, Pack Hoop, next time we come here, God damn it, we want some speculation from you. Stop trying to be um, um a professionals with this shit. We want you to come out your character for a moment. I'm for real though, man. God damn, you could have gave us a little speculation. That nigga ain't speculating on shit. That nigga giving it right down the middle. Yeah, we don't know what it will be. So yeah, we're gonna leave it right there. On to the next. God damn, nigga. But yeah, I feel him. I respect it. But I'm just saying though, man. Most of us, you know, we we worried about it. You know, even if ain't nobody speaking on it, I'm sure they worried about it. We need that motherfucking latency to be right, dog. We do not need to be skipping, lagging, jumping up and down, man. We want our game to play correctly and precisely, dog. We don't want to have to deal with no motherfucking waiting for opponents every fucking five minutes. Oh, let me say this, too. A lot of y'all not really big on this. Y'all don't really care, but I do. A lot of y'all don't be really caring about this. I do not want my motherfucking first 10 L's to come from a motherfucking lag out. Let me, let me say that one more time. 2K. I do not want my first fucking L's to come from lag outs. I know y'all don't be, I know some of y'all don't give a fuck about that. But goddamn, bruh. Man, I've been having fun. I've been hoping. And then I take a loss to the motherfucking server. Man, goddamn, bruh. Let me let somebody beat me. Somebody beat me. Don't be doing that dumb shit, man. Giving me no motherfucking ass, bro. God damn, 2K. Games like FIFA have flat out said that they're not able to do it. So I wonder how 2K pulled it off. PS5 players and Xbox players are going to be able to communicate with each other as well in game in game chat, not party chat. Because I mean, I mean, unless you have like a Discord app on.
Xbox was I actually don't know if they have it or not. That's the only way I can see you fixing that problem. VC is shared between Xbox and PS5. This one I was really surprised. Well, if oh, I didn't know that. Error code facts, dog. Kill the fucking bot. Yo, hold on. Did y'all know about this? Did y'all know that we can share VC from Xbox to PlayStation? I did not know about that. That's big right there. That's big. Mm. That is pretty cool. VC is shared between Xbox and PS5. This one, I was really surprised. Well, if you buy the Xbox version and you grind it and you gain VC, your PS5 account will carry over the VC you have gained, which is actually... Damn! I didn't, I didn't know that. Only... I didn't know nothing about that one. See, it's a good thing we watching, my boy. I told y'all, he gonna find something, goddamn. I did not know about that. That is big right there, dog. We don't have cross... Pre cross save progression but they allow us to carry our vc over so i mean that's OW. cross play it is not going to be cross generation so yes you can play ps5 and xbox series s or x but you can't play ps4 versus ps5 because well that kind of confirms it to the next thing there's still two different games the previous generation and the current generation are two completely different games which is a massive l the one of the biggest things we've been complaining about but i guess 2k likes money too much to change so for the mm. previous generation they're Facts. going to have a neighborhood paradise so it's not going to be the cruise ship anymore but they called it a neighborhood maybe it'll be something similar to nba 2k21 which is on the beach probably going to be that but still they get a neighborhood which is what do y'all see what i'll be talking about when, when 2k be talking about we can't add that. 2K, you be lying. You be lying. You told us PS4 couldn't get the fucking neighborhood. 2K told us the city couldn't be in the neighborhood. See, people be forgetting what 2K, what them people be coming on. Them devs, yo, appreciate that. A lot of people be forgetting what them devs be saying. They were trying to act like PS4 couldn't handle it. Now all of a sudden, PS4 is getting everything that the that next gen they, that that got the year before. PS4 is not picking it up the following year. Man, y'all be capping, bro. I know y'all could do all this shit with them consoles. Y'all just be selling consoles and selling new 2Ks, bro. Y'all can do everything y'all doing on this motherfucking next gen. I'm sure y'all can do it for PS4, dog. Y'all y'all just trolling, bro. Y'all trolling because everything y'all said y'all cannot do. All of a sudden, now y'all doing it to the PS4. What people were wanting anyways. Not only that, but old generation is going to adapt the current player builder system. Going to be straight up how it is on current gen. Clarifying that that is not 100% confirmed, but it is a probable confirm so far. We're going to get brand new build details in its entire... So, so you're telling me PS4 can get the PS5 2K23 builder system? I thought y'all couldn't do that. Huh. Man for old generation and current generation in august so we're not going to know anything until next month but that's usually how the cycle goes so don't be that surprised they're probably going to do a community day by then we'll see now speaking of the neighborhood the new i ain't gonna lie that jersey fire so i mean that hoodie surprised. they're probably going to do a community hey that hoodie is fire though i know that's probably like a made-up hoodie but i rock the shit out that motherfucker i fuck with that hoodie y'all like that hoodie day by then we'll see now speaking of the neighborhood the new generation is actually going to have a city again they are bringing back the city however it's going to be a brand new city that they've made from ground up according to 2k this city is going to have a <laughs> tropical beach kind of feel so <laughs> nigga said that hoodie called 25k previous ah. and now are going to have a tropical type of feel one's going to be a neighborhood one's going to be a city but new generation players don't get too too worried because the city is going to have a neighborhood inside of it according to the side so maybe that means no more affiliations which means no more having to go to four different sides of the neighborhood to find a brand new game everything's going to be under hopefully this is not confirmed but this is what it's sounding like everything's going to be under one neighborhood inside the city side quests are sadly back Whenever, whatever, soon as I touch the lever, I am my starting five. Got downside, Chris. I wear a glizzy because I love the meat. 
However, side quests are now optional. They're not going to be a main part of the story. So if you have to do things like, you know, like an NBA 2K23, if you wanted to continue like your regulars, my career story, you had to complete a quest and it was really stupid. Now they're saying that side quests are going to be optional, which is dope. It says I think so too. tokens are coming back to the game. This is a bad thing because XP tokens were basically only made for leveling up your seasons. And that means that seasons are probably coming mm. back. <laughs> There's been a lot of discourse lately about whether or not seasons are bad or good. Again, I'm going to stand firm on my opinion that seasons is not a bad idea if you execute it correctly. But as of today... Hey, hey. And there's only one way to execute the season correctly. There's only one way. One way, one way, one way, one way, one way, one way. You cannot hit level 40 in a fucking 28, 24, 48 hour setting. Seasons, they can be useful. I, and like I said, y'all got to understand the purpose for the season as we mentioned. The season is to refresh your mind. It's to make you feel like you're playing a new 2K every couple, every, every few three weeks, every four weeks or something, every five weeks. So it's a good idea. It's a good idea to give you a different setting. All video games are doing that. All video games are, are understanding that people want to see new visuals. So it's a good idea that every four weeks, every five weeks, they give you a new theme but the problem is not the visuals it's the fucking psychological effect that they're doing with level 40 people are hitting level they are hitting the level 40 and then getting off the game that's the psychological effect that level 40 is having which is a bad thing it's a good thing for visuals you keep the mind fresh you keep people fresh like they're playing something new they got something to you know it's not the same thing all year. So it's a good idea, but they have to make the leveling, level up, leveling up, they have to make it harder. And that's where I think rank should come in at. I think Ricky to Legend should be added into the season. Ricky to Legend should be added into seasons. The ranking system will always be something that the 2k community won't because we wants to we want to grind for something we want legend and these powerful rewards we want them to mean something they're not going to mean something if everybody hitting it and getting it i don't understand why 2k not understanding that people want exclusive uh, exclusivity we want something that the next person can't have when i hit legend i want to get something that this nigga that hit level one can't get and he can't go buy it the game won't have any longevity if people are hitting level 40 overnight but i guarantee you with the new theme every four to five weeks you get a new theme on top of chasing ricky to legend so you're keeping your season shit in there but now you're giving us the ability to go from ricky to legend and people can't hit it overnight i guarantee you it would be a success Nobody have a, the only issue with season is the fucking dumbass rewards in the level situation. Other than that, what's wrong with season? If they had season, if, if the season was not a level thing, but it was a Ricky to Legend season. So every four weeks, the season change. But you're still completing your Ricky to Legend. Who would have an issue with it? Nobody. People have an issue with going to level 40 and then feeling like I don't got nothing else to do. That's the issue. It's not the fact that 2K changing things, because we love that, right? I mean, I'm not mad at it. Every four weeks, they changing the, the outlook of 2K. What I'm mad at is they reset my motherfucking record every time they change that dumbass season, and I hit level 40 in eight hours. Because I'm a crackhead for 2K. So if the game ain't good, I'm going to hit level 40 in eight hours. I don't want to hit level 40 in eight hours. I want you to be, make me feel like, hey, you might well go and go to bed, nigga, because you ain't finna hit level 40 tonight. And then I'd be like, God damn, fuck. Y'all remember, bro, when we used to do missions? 
Why is GTA so fun? The story mode. It's a never ending fucking cycle. They got main mission, side mission, his mission, her mission. The dog got a mission. God damn. Even like the dog got a mission, the dog got a mission. That's dope. That keep the people. GTA, nigga been playing that game for 10 years. Right, what, five, six years? Why? Because motherfuckers still trying to complete that game. Motherfuckers still doing side quests. Nigga, bro, GTA, I had you doing a quest and you forgot all about. Nigga, this ain't even the main mission. You, you done got so locked in and it's so appealing and, and it's dope. You be like, damn, nigga, I'm bullshitting. I supposed to be doing the main mission. But you thought this was the main mission. Nigga, you on a side quest. Nigga, that motherfucker just good. So, so 2K, we, in my opinion, we don't have an issue with your fucking season. The fact that you changing the theme up every four weeks or five weeks, we have an issue with hitting level 40 in the motherfucking 48 hours. Because I know all us crackheads, we, we hit level 40 in 48 hours. Top, nigga. No, real crackheads of 2K, nigga, we don't go 72 hours to hit level 40. Nigga, we hit level 40. Before we go to bed. Yeah, nigga, I ain't going to bed until I hit the level 40. Oh, shit, nigga, damn, you coming like that, yo. Yo. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that, man. Brain, the season can stay. Just got to fix that fucking level shit and give us some better rewards, bro. It has been terrible. The rewards have been terrible. I like, look at that. 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 Look at that, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Somebody come look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. This is a level 40 item. Who the fuck? Look at this, y'all. Look at this. The other one at. You did correctly, but as of today, it is. Look at this. Somebody look at this. Somebody look at this. Somebody look at this. 2K thought that we still care about Santa Claus. Nigga, he don't exist. <laughs> Man, they can't be making this game for grown people. This game can't. I know they say rated E for everyone, but God damn, bro. Okay, you do know two years old, there's two year old kids not playing this motherfucker, right? You do know three year old and five year old. Like, I think the age of probably starting off on 2K is what, about six or seven? I think them seven year old kids know Santa Claus don't exist no more. 2K, why the fuck we getting this Santa suit for a level 40 item? Come on, dawg. You got to do better than that, man. Huh? You got to do better than that. We are not no babies. <laughs> we are not toddlers. We are not toddlers. A Santa Claus outfit? Man, come on, dawg. We not toddlers, man. Okay. Go, go, tell, go talk to Cat. I can go down a list of what I think should be added. That could be another video, but there's definitely better ways you can fix the seasons. Hopefully they've addressed that. The WNBA story mode is going to start you off either in college or in overseas. You can pick if you want to start off, like let's say at UConn. That's kind of dope. Go to like Spain and start off your career in. That's dope though. I ain't gonna cap. They can start off their college overseas. That's, that's, I like that. I think that's dope. Like the Euro League. That's a really cool idea if they add it into regular NBA my career. That would be really cool because I would love to start out like Luca, for example, in Europe and try to get into the NBA. That'd be a pretty cool storyline and something different that they haven't really done. I, they technically uh, did the China League one, but still, it's different. I, I know you want some gameplay improvements according to 2K. I heard y'all over I say according to 2K because I never believed them, but they said the interior oh, defense has been revamped. There's been a lot of complaints ever since NBA 2K21, right. in my opinion. The defense, interior uh, defense. He said they need to. Horrible. And I won't whoever, uh, make, they need bad. to fire it's whoever make the bad. rewards. 2K says that they're addressing that. I don't believe them, but that's what they're saying. They're also saying the dribble combos have been improved. Again, I don't believe them, but that's... See? 2K. See, 2K. I, I, <laughs> 2K. Y'all got a lot of making up to do before people start to believe in the lies. Let me tell you something, 2K. So, y'all help me let 2K know this. 
We didn't even get a chance to lose, use your 2K23 dribbling system because of your fucking movement was so messed up. How y'all adding new dribble moves when we didn't even get to use the ones from 2K23? How anybody fully got to understand and, and have a decent time with 2K23 dribbling? How are you dribbling? We haven't even been able to use the dribbling system this entire year. Because of faulty fucking movements, because of late um, input between controller and 2K, you tell the motherfucker to do a crossover, he got to do a motherfucking Jake, he got to step back, he got to pick his nose, then he do a crossover. We haven't even fully experienced that. And they change in dribbling. When they need to figure out the fucking movement of the game. Fix the movement of the game. Fix the movement of the game. Fuck the new combos you talking about. We want the dribbling system to be fixed. How you add a new dribbling style, a new dribble, anything, when the movement's still fucked up? My nigga say he's still rocking season one, Seeks. Like, come on, bruh. Nobody, bro, 2K, 2K23 movement was so bad that the dribbling did not really fucking matter because the game did what it wanted to do. The game did, your, your my player did not listen to you. You try to put together a combo, that nigga doing some other shit. How the fuck my, my player is doing the... Is this nigga, has this nigga came alive or something? When you start to look at 2K, like, is your mind player dis disobeying your commands? But like, nigga, didn't I tell you the motherfucker do a, a step back? This nigga done did a behind the back between the leg, then did a step back. People like, what the fuck, nigga? Who told you to do that shit? The mind players don't listen this year. 2K, y'all done gave these mind players too much brains or some shit. They ain't listening to us, man. So fuck all that. You got some new dribble combos. Fix the fucking movement. Because I'm starting to think these motherfuckers have a, a brain of their own now. But like, nigga, that's not what I told you to do. Exactly. That's why everybody using the same fucking dribble moves because everybody confused. It's only a couple dribble moves that the game don't, the game don't just give you some funky shit. And that most likely gonna be a step back speed boost. <laughs> if you try to do anything else, the goddamn my play up like, nah, nigga, I don't feel like doing that one. I ain't gonna do that one. I'm gonna do this dribble move right here, though. Show me rather than tell me. You can tell me all the stuff you want, but I don't know what 2K means by that. Let's wait and see if they drop a video like the stamina video they made last year where I can actually check out and see exactly what they mean. This is a rumor. This is going to be the only rumor in this video that release timing is gone for NBA 2K23. Okay, so uh, this has been deconfirmed, and you'll see why a little bit in the video, but while I was editing this, this was deconfirmed. Oh, oh, oh shut up. Get over it. They have redone Froby, like younger Kobe Bryant, to make him look a little more accurate and realistic. I think regular Kobe, like older Kobe was fine, but definitely the younger one needed a little bit of touching up and they did it. It's very clean. It's the best you can possibly look in terms of graphics in 2K. Who cares anymore? This is as good who as cares Kobe anymore in about graphics? Face scans, lighting and stuff. Like, like and, I, and I say that respectfully, I understand like some of y'all might still want a little more with graphics, but like the graphics are really good. Like, it, you know, like, to complain about graphics is like really, it's no point to complain. Like I, graphics complaining, that's a whole nother level of being petty. Like the game look good. The game look good, man. I understand you might be mad at 2K about something and you just gonna pick on the graphics, but for the, for, the graphics are really nice, man. Like, these players are damn near looking real, dog. The game be sometimes, like, how many of y'all have family members that walk into y'all house, see you playing a game, and they think it's a real fucking basketball game? Like, that's how crazy they have came with graphics. Like, so, I think they are doing pretty good with graphics. Is missing is, like, jersey, like, What's jersey good, gang? really bad now. And I'd argue that body types could be a little more, like, changed up. 
But in terms of just face scan, this is a great face scan for Kobe. But if you look at this photo of Kobe Bryant, it has the NBA Finals patch on his jersey, which means either two things. The one, the one that I'm hoping is a 2010 Lakers with Andrew Bynum, Lamar Odom. I'm really hoping that team is going to be added into just regular play now. I would love to use that team against my friends. That team has needed to be added for a long, long time. But the other possibility is that 2K has already announced for the next game is that they're going to add the brand new era of the 2010s era called the LeBron era. So they already have the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Now they're going to add a 2010s of the LeBron era, which is something that I had begged for in a video before. Which, hey, 2K listen to me. Look at that. That's obviously awesome. There's going to be so many teams that we can play now, like the Orlando Magic, mm. Dwight Howard team. Like, so many good teams that we're going to be able to play with. Hey. Shout out to Pack Hoops, man. You know, great video. Y'all make sure y'all go hit the like button. You know, that's that's enough for me on goddamn it all the things that are new to 2K. Goddamn, Pack. Pack put all 40 in the motherfuckers in there. But listen, great video by Pack Hoop, man. Y'all go check it out if you want to finish the rest of the video. Uh, but like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button to show brother some love, man. Amazing video. We actually learned something new. Like I said, I did not know that VC will be transferred from Xbox to PlayStation and PlayStation to Xbox. So although they are not letting us transfer our players, like we can't take our player that we made on PlayStation and have him on Xbox. And I don't think you really need that when you have crossplay. That's my opinion though. Like, why do I need an Xbox player when I can just play with Xbox people? You know what I'm saying? So. Big girl crazy. Um, so you don't in my opinion, we don't need we don't really need save progression cross play because your player can go to either system. But to be able to transfer VC, that's the plus because let's say you can't take your player that you made on PlayStation and put them on Xbox. But what you can do, you can play the game and say you make enough VC. You can use that VC for now Xbox and make you a player over there. So I think, you know, it's dope. Shout out to 2K for adding that. And shout out to Pack Hoops for letting us know that because I did not know that. So Pack Hoops, good one. All right, but make sure I go drop a like on that video. Let's move on to our next one. That little on the, that little on the.